For a second day in a row, the order of business at Nyandarua County Assembly was thrown into disarray. <laughs> Honorable MCA stand rowdy, preventing house business from proceeding. The assembly as presently constituted is torn down the middle. One faction is in support of Majority Leader Kamau Gadungu, who was allegedly housed out of office by MCAs in favor of Wambugu Kingori, who is said to have been sworn in at a Nyandarwa Hotel. House orderlies were forced to create a buffer zone around the maze in a bid to allow the assembly to transact its business. The under fire Gadungu had been scheduled to table the government's annual development plan, but the opposing MCAs could hear none of it, throwing the whole house into chaos. Those opposed to the majority leader claimed that he had become a gatekeeper for the executive, citing this as the reason behind his house tower. Over 22 members of uh, Jubilee Party sat and agreed that we're going to change the leadership. The majority, the majority leader, the majority whip, and the deputy majority whip. We did this and we communicated to the speaker. The speaker up to today has not communicated that to the assembly. This is the level of the dictatorship. The speaker of the assembly, however, declined to recognize King Oru as the new majority leader. It is true I received the resolutions about the purported change of leadership in the house and uh, I have already ruled in the house and indicated that that communication was not a valid communication as per the established law. Our speaker is kind of uh, impunity. He don't understand that there is the, the judiciary which is supposed to interpret the law. So we wait until the time that uh, the, 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 the judiciary interprets this matter and eventually the matter will be settled down. The push and shove finally forcing the speaker to adjourn sittings yet again. This day is sad for Nyandarwa. We all came to represent the Nyandarwa, county, uh, the Nyandarwa members and here we are not representing Wajiko because we've been dictated to. There appears to be no end to the current standoff as both factions maintain their hardline stance. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.